So let's see if I got this right. You traded in your Jeep for a Chrysler Sebring. Well, here it comes for the first time. I've never seen it before. So I thought we were supposed to be trading up here, but everybody's different. So I don't know. That don't look too bad. We got a, we got a little list of stuff we're going to go over here. So let's get him in and get some coffee and make an egg sandwich or something. So, uh... Lights, camera, action. So you're over there on your phone anyway. Look at that. Come and make him an egg sandwich. And he's on no, that was a good egg sandwich. Sure. <laughs> well, so let's 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 jump up and take a look at this thing before we go out there. But you uh, you got this uh, bumper that's uh, gone cattywampus. So it got it got popped a little bit. Uh, yeah, when a tow truck driver did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see right there where it got popped right there, right there on that on the left side right side from your view so boy I run I don't know why I run into that all the time of course cars uh, I remember seeing a mad magazine joke where they were at the car body shop and they were taking the parts off like an old yeah you know like an old uh, making a plastic model mm -hmm. it is like that now yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a plastic model and uh, yeah, I'm watching Eric, O, and Ivan on uh, the South Main Auto channel. And uh, but anyway, we're Pine Hollow Diagnostics. So, but she's, she runs good. You like her? Yeah. Okay, what's the matter? You just want to sit up? No, she's going to go Oh, okay, yeah. Everything, everything's out. And, uh, so we got the bumper. I thought we might put the uh, scanner on it. Yes, we need to because... Um, 10-day tag is out, oh. and it wasn't registering anything when I had to go get it inspected. And okay. So we can test to see if it's registering now. Okay. That'll work. Open loop, close loop, uh, and all that. Let's see. What else? Uh, you want to uh, check the oil and the brake fluid and the power steering fluid? Yeah, all that stuff. So, yeah, look. just the underneath. They did some work underneath with the uh, transaxles, I believe. The last thing he was telling me, so I want to make sure there's some noise going on underneath there. Transaxles. Okay. Unless that is the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the bumper flapping around. The bumper flapping, flapping right. around, making noise, you know. And we'll make sure the shocks aren't leaking. We'll look, you know, they look at brakes now, so we might as well just look at the brake pads. Right. And uh, we'll check oh, the gearbox. She passed here. inspection other than the fact that it wouldn't register nothing. That's why we had the driver, they clicked it back with the battery off of it. So he says it didn't register anything, so he says we can't pass it. You have to drive it some. So oh, somebody cleared the codes. Cleared the codes, yes. And so, yeah, just pull that table wherever you want it there. My old lace maker table I made in Boy Scouts. I put some real nice slides underneath it so I can move it around this floor. It's kind of a nice move about little table. So, okay, and I don't worry, I got plenty of green pull ties to fix that bumper. Can't wait. And maybe if we get lucky, I'll get to do some plastic welding. You ever seen me do any plastic welding? No. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. If we, if we have to, if it's cracked, uh, we'll, you know, usually we can do that. So uh, anyway, all right. Well, uh, there's Ivy. I watch him all the time. So uh, we've actually had, he had an Austin Healey 3000, and he put bushings in the front end. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually, we actually talked about that. I actually... Uh, Told him you don't need to go to a machine shop. You can just do it yourself. You can fit bushings yourself at home. You know, it's not hard to do. It's right. Not, you know, especially if you're pretty close. So anyway, and I got all kind of reamers and stuff like that. So anyway, well, we're going to get down there in a minute. Now, the thing I want to do with the Healy before I move it, I got to put, I didn't get down there because of my other problems today, but we'll put the alternator on it. <clears throat> but I want to static time it. I'm going to take a minute. And then I want to check the dwell on it. I have a little note in my pocket, <clears throat> and as we all know, the uh, that's why I got you your own your own your own thing. Yeah, because coffee you can never stop <laughs> that coffee. coffee just, down just, you gotta yeah. watch that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do a little bit of Healy work, and then we'll we'll get you on the lift. We'll we'll see about that in a minute. Of paramount importance when you buy a new car is you have to get the old power washer. Out. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about spark plugs and wiper blades and stuff like that. Be sure and clean the mats, okay? 
Well, Spats is doing fine. We just took her on a little road trip, and uh, she's just uh, she's just purring like a kitten. Let's see if I can get her up a little bit more. I usually I do this by hand. Still hear the power washer? Wait till I show you. We're gonna push her. So this is what I normally do. Man, I do not leave the batteries hooked up on these old cars. Okay, let's get you out of harm's way. And then, uh, okay. Clear this in the back. Yeah. I can close her up. Man, that power was... <laughs> I, you see, I should have taken it before and after. Look how clean that is. That's a good idea I had there. Wow. That thing was uh, just black as night. On one side, they got in it with greasy shoes. And uh, it was really a mess. So the lift is clear for... Uh, trouble. I just ate. I don't know if I can say it. A Chrysler. Ugh. Tongues. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about this bumper thing. I told him multiple times what to do. We'll see if he'll do it. Okay. Ugh. Oh, my. My. The stomach turns. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. That's good. That way just a little bit. There you go. That way just a little bit. Okay, that way just a little bit. Just do what I tell you. Now, nah, there you go. Come on up here. That's good right there. All right. I'm going to do some stuff now. Just now. Uh, so, 2005 has no cabin filter. Unbelievable. Well, go ahead and pop the bonnet on it. I'll let you do it. I don't, I don't need to know how to. Remember, that'll, that'll move around on you a little bit if you're not careful. You get, you, you get the hang of it. Yeah, you're the one that needs to learn how to do that. Okay, got your prop rod. Let's get a, uh, here, I'm going to let you work that one. Now, let me show you how it works. These are tricky. That's on, that's low, that's supposed to be that light, but it don't work, so you got to hit it again. And always remember, tear up invalid. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your coolant. It's all good. Never do this at home, kids. So you take 5W20. I don't. If you want to change the oil, have you looked at the oil? Yeah, oil's good. It's changed before I got it. It's uh, ooh, it's it's okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, it's fine. This takes that pink stuff, so you yeah. got to remember they can't mix them up. That's and right. They say you know you got your organic and inorganic. And if you want some washer fluid. We got the, there's your AC. That oh, that's where the uh, that's where the high good. is. Power steering's good. You check the air cleaner. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay, looks good. When I first got it. It was good. Okay, and uh, transmission. What's your brake fluid look like? It's good. Pretty clean. That's awful. Are you kidding me? That looks no, look terrible. Over here in the light, you can see it's just dark on the side. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. I just... It only takes... It takes me no time to... Uh... Yeah, I guess I can pass that. Okay. And it doesn't look like it was recently done, you know? Right. And they mean this on this jump stuff. Oh, yeah. They Because yeah. if you, there are sensors now at the battery, you can't jump at the battery. Or you shouldn't. Well, there's your front motor mount. What does your grill look like? I mean, do you think we need to... I don't think we need to put any sodium hydroxide in there, New Bright. No, that should be pretty good. Everything's running tip-top. You know, I don't know what they did underneath, and that's where We're I... We're going to go underneath now. Okay. Because that, all the engine compartment and everything is good. But they have not been much good. Okay. Probably even that never had $80,000. Yeah. Uh... Well, there's your, uh, oh no, it's a six cylinder. If yeah. you ever, those, those coil packs, 
this may not be too hard to get plugs in it. No, this one's pretty easy. These V6s. Sometimes you gotta take the intake manifold even off. Even though it is Dodge. Well, easy now. Chrysler. <laughs> yeah, you're right at the high mark, yeah. When I check when it comes time for a change, I'll probably go ahead and switch to Schaefer and be done with it. Yeah, I've got some five over there, but you can we can get more. No, I, I'll have to order the case. Get some five. You got five twenty? I don't think so. You got five. I got five twenty right there. You do? Yeah. See these are my So yeah, I got a five gallon bucket of five uh thirty, a ten gallon bucket of ten thirty, and uh I mean a five gallon bucket of ten thirty. Racing Supreme seven thousand. Yep, that's Saint Schaefer's racing. This is a fifty, yeah. I just I just okay. about, that's for all the British cars, generally. Oh, okay. And that's why I'm about out. I got to order They all take 2050? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Okay, going up. <laughs> okay, well, we'll start back here. Damn. Oh, I can't see Somebody much. Somebody wanted an original in good shape. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, okay. we got CD joints. That looks good over here. Yeah, I mean, there's your condensate tube. It's leaking a little drop. If you're wondering, there's your, there's where your air conditioner condensate comes out. See the drop of water? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. that looks pretty good there. The, the, all the front boots look great. Yeah. You got new uh, tone rings, it looks like. There, it's got a little bit of your good over here. your it's, basic it's weepies. Like Swung a little grease out. That that, that might have been from the old before, one. yeah. Oh, it's no. easy to get to the oxygen sensors here. Uh, your serpentine belt looks okay. It's not too. There's nothing in the uh, grooves, but she does have a little bit of an oil leak. This so minor, it's not worth even worrying about. Right. Other than that, and, uh, the, the brake lines look good. Catalytic converters are up in there. Well, yeah. That's fucked up, ain't it? Well, it's got like a dual exhaust. And there's one right there, too. You got it. Yeah. yeah. You probably won't have to worry about that too much. And it. Well, heat the, shields are in. You said it had okay, a rattle? This, the, yeah, this is the fucking that's, shit that's going on down here. I think. So, oh, allow me to rephrase that. The tow truck driver mistakenly damage the front end of your car. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We uh, <laughs> got moving around. And yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll get to all that. So you got... Uh, There's a piece missing there. And yeah, and that's, that's wind noise right there. And this is, this is noise here. That's not the stuff I'm talking about. See, there, there's the piece missing there tied this all in yeah and you can tell because it's a this one's sort of still there and see this is what's we got a flat we got to tighten that up right all here. right so wait a minute there. i think i see a problem uh that goes right here yeah but see that'll keep it from all right wait a somewhere. minute wait a minute listen listen to me now you're gonna have to get this piece because you're slinging water yeah. right onto your belt yeah so that piece missing is a no good nick Right. We need to go to the Chrysler dealer and see if, or make something and put there because you're just going to throw water all over your belts. Yeah, and that's and not good at all. So that piece... Splash gone. That, you need this piece for the right side. Yeah. You, that's what you need. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get that. Or uh, we'll, we'll, maybe uh, we can pull the wheel off and I can... I can well, I'll go to pull apart and get that sh stuff. Yeah. You gotta pull apart and I'll get See, that. you're already slinging dirt up into your horn. Yeah. You know, which is, you know, it's okay. Will this thing slide back right here? Yes. Just pull on it. It'll go. Pull it evenly. There you go. Just go all the way back. Now we can see. This, yeah, they, they, they hit pretty good right here. Yeah. And they, somebody just put tape on that. Right, see what happened here? All right there. Now, it's got to come back and just attach to these holes right here. You don't have, I got some Christmas trees, I think. Okay. Let's not attach anything until we're sure of what we're doing. Let's, I'll tell you what else let's do. What do your brakes look like? They look pretty good. 
You happy with your brakes? Yeah. You think you you passed everything? Oh, we gotta hook the scanner up to it. Yeah. It's got rear drums. Should have. Oh, it's got this. Oh yeah, there they are. They just have the shield on them. That's got a complicated rear end with all that sway bars and all that stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Let's see how many Christmas trees I got. Okay. And then, but we need to come back down. We need to pull that wheel off and uh, and get a get a look and see if I can. You can't drive it in the rain right now. Uh, I'm not driving it that off. Okay. 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 So this is our. We've already been under here and got all the the Christmas trees in place down there. So now we got to figure out about this thing. He's putting some... Okay, we're good on air. Okay. Uh, I want to pull this we wheel. turn that wheel. You don't have to pull it. I'd rather pull it. Let's just pull it. Give me the air. Just, just... God, that mighty. I'm going to make... I'm going to have a sign drawn up in neon. Just do what I tell you. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> well, sometimes that always doesn't work. Yeah, it, it always works. I mean, you just want to go to a lot of extra trouble. I would do want to go to a lot of extra trouble. Okay. The reason being is I want to, I kind of want to look, I have my reasons. I wanted to look back here and sort of see how this is constructed. So when we rebuild that other side, we'll kind of have an idea. I kind of want to get an idea of what it's going to look like over there. Right, so that's, there is a reason for my, there. Here, smarty, all you right. can take it off. <laughs> Saying I'm not right all the time. Now, who was it had the uh, Christmas trees that fit all this stuff just in stock? What? The Christmas trees that fit, I just had those in a drawer over there. Yeah, you saved oh, them for yeah. me. Yeah. No, those, the, the, these were yours, but the yeah. other ones were mine. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you insulted the dignity of my robes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> spoken like a true narcissist. <laughs> Yeah, with a lift and a jack yeah. and Christmas tree. And tools. And tools, but other than that. See, look, that wheel does hit there. I figured it would. It looked so close. That's because it was loose and flopping, remember? Now you yeah, tightened it up. Yeah, I know, but and still there's another one you can put close. right in there. Hey, look here. There's another one right yeah, here. Yeah, there's one up there. We can tighten that side there. That thing up. Thing, thing. Think, 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 thing. Okay, we can put one of those in there, see? Yeah, see, that's why. There's, no, there's no use animals. of pulling the wheel off now. No, not really. Okay. I mean, you know. Okay, okay, just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if we're trying All right, to make yeah, Okay, yeah. I mean, okay, okay, well, we were we're, we're not going to. Gonna, let's just not put anything in there then. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us again, Sean. <laughs> there's no use in pulling the wheel off. No. no. Because he needs brakes, too. <laughs> So yeah, this we just uh, I by look. There's out. there's yeah, and then you eat your rotor. I know you. I've seen what yeah, you've done to trucks before. Fool, yeah, you still got some brakes over there for that truck, but I think y'all got those replaced. Yes. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll save them. You're missing. Oh, you're missing back here too. Man, there's a. Oh, I see, that's got some kind of screw holes that in. Well, let's just. I tell you what. Next time I tell anybody to do anything, just do it. <laughs> is that is that rotor loose? Yeah, that's supposed to be. Okay, yeah. we got to make we got to make a very detailed look at this brake thing with all these springs. So, yeah. so Sean found my stash of thumbs back there, didn't you? You know why I got those back there? So the people like you coming here making my stomach hurt. You know why those are they really there? No, why? Peter. Peter? Yeah, Peter used to get on my nerves, oh. so he just get on me. Yeah. That's why I had, he got he got excommunicated. Yeah. But, uh, so, okay, well, that doesn't look too bad. No. Nope. Now, what, we, what, what we'll do is, this is what I like to do. Okay. We'll pull the fluid out of the brake master. Yeah. We will uh, push in this piston yeah. and suck all that out. Gotcha. And then very carefully go do the other side and make sure this piston and get all your old fluid up. Gotcha. And suck it all out. And then I got you. I got you the world's best brake fluid here. Uh, you, you, the, you don't. No, it's not that. It's uh. No, but I mean, if it's different, it's a different type. It still works. Right? Yeah, DOT's DOT. Now see, I got this stuff. This is for BMWs. ATE.4. Dot four. Dot four. Is it and silicone? It, no, dot oh. five silicone. Oh. And 5.1 is not silicone, but nice. five is. Yeah, so this good. this is dot four, one liter. It comes from Germany. I get it from a guy in Germany. Okay. 
my, my little man in Germany. Little man in Germany. <laughs> I really don't know a if he's little, German little, German. little, little, I don't know if he is or isn't, but he, he's got brake fluid. Okay, so this is what we do now. So you, you can get this and you can, you can sort of darken that in a little bit. You won't see it so much. I don't care about that. Okay. All right, so give her a try. I got, I think I got everything in place, all the ones that were popped out. How's that feel to you? Oh, baby, look at that. That's nice and tight. Got the thing lined up there. And back did here. Did we do one back? Yeah, that's the one we did. Okay. We got a, is that one fighting us a little bit down there? No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the first ones we did. Yeah, that's all right. So this one was missing. Yeah. That one was missing. This one was missing. I don't know what the hell that does. But uh, it don't, it's fine. Well, that's fine. And then th this this is all hooked in now and sounds good. The battery is right there. I'm under the headlight. She's nice and tight in the front. So, hey, get... Well, these headlights, I can fix those up. I'll go ahead and pull the wheel off the other side here. Okay. And then we'll go to the stove. And get, oh, you want, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's that's infinitely better. So I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix up his headlights. So there's the wildfire down there. To every size in the world. Oh, there's the ducks. Oh, that bet. Oh. That's, so what's going on here? I've just discovered. I'll show you. Uh, let's get one of these. Let me show you what, what, what our problem is over here. I, I'll show you on the other side, get your opinion. So those brakes are just shot. So see. Well, we cut a piece of that rubber. See, that's what I was down. saying. We can do that on this side now. We, we, can, right. we can just cut something and put there. Yeah. But your problem is what you're missing right here. Yeah, that's right, this is now, just a temporary. Wait a minute, let me, come with me now. Right. So this is vacant because the bottom pan is missing and there's that's two right. other pieces. Right. Now, let me show you why you've got to do that. You can tell over here. Because what this thing does is that's the channel for air to cool your brakes. 10-4. And so you need those panels to channel air to your brakes. Right on, yeah. Because without that, I mean, you know, it pulls out of the grill. Now the other thing you said was this fog light has water in it. I think yeah, a three sixteenths drill bit. That thing, you want to try to get it out, and uh, it's just a screw up in there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can get one when we go to the stove. Yeah, it's plastic too. Yeah, I can't believe it. Plastic. Plastic. And violets are purple. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Yeah. So well, that's the start of it. I, I'm not going to tell anybody how to do this because right. there's a million ways. A million ways. And my way's the best, but I'm not. You know how? I, you know I'm, I try not to try not to brag or anything. <laughs> not exactly done yet, but we're done. I've done enough. So there's what that one looks like, and there's what that one looks like. So now you can actually see the bulbs. I think I'm going to put one more coat of something on it. But that's still far better. You look at the amber. That'll that'll tell you more than anything. So you can't hardly see the amber. So it's not only seeing; it's being seen. So I've got to make something temporary for here. So I got this piece of cardboard, and I put it right there. And I don't have to worry about marking the holes because I'm going to cut this out of plexiglass. And then we will have us a, a a nice shield that'll get him through until so you gotta look under here. You don't know where to look. You have to have one of, of these. And you pull it through, and I'm not gonna do a demonstration on how to cut plexiglass. So uh, anyway, you just pull it and snap it and it's not that hard. We're good. Yeah, baby. That's got some beef, don't it? Is that us? Yeah, it's got a little beef that's on got that. Some, that's why your fluid's low, too. Yes. And I... You're not supposed to lubricate those, you know that. Oh, it don't hurt a bit. Oh, they tell you never do oh, that. Oh, that's... Put those in backwards. Yeah. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs>
No, I no, I'm serious. They say don't do that, but people do it. And I'm, but ask the, any. I mean, a, a 30 year old tire man says I that know. he never does it. He does it because it doesn't loosen nothing. It, yeah. Because these threads all bind up. Yeah. And uh, I'm with you. You know what I mean. Everybody. I just wonder. D- different. It's your. Everybody's got because it own makes thing. you try to get one of those some guns. They'll always come off, but and they won't come loose. I've never seen one come loose yet. Because well, that's the only because when they come co- loose is when you don't tighten them enough. Yeah. When, or torque them. You well, torque them, they're not going We're going to torque them. Yeah. What is the torque spec on that, do you know? I'll find out. I'm, I'm, I'm betting it's 110, but you look it up. Okay. You, everyone, you got to look up your own torque specs. Don't okay. depend on anybody you right ever on. hear. You want to see what I did? You know what that spooks me, man? It's what's holding yeah. that nut on. Uh, it don't even have a thing, does it? Does it? it? No. I don't know. And it looks like it's been sort of machined right there, doesn't it? Let's go look at the other side. And I, I need your opinion yeah, over here. It goes the opposite direction. Uh, you, yeah, Dodge Chrysler does that. Does that have? See, this has the. Uh, wait a minute. That How you like that? See, I drew you a little face on it and everything. Look at you. Don't go too much. I put some look silicone. There. Yeah, yeah. Look at now, you. Now, see if you don't. There's your. If you throw a stone in there or get water in there. Yeah. Yeah. You, and then there you, you go. Keep it off the engine. There yeah. you go. Initial Buddy Holly initial one for you. And I put all that there, so that'll keep the mud out of your horn. Uh. Yeah, I don't know about you want. That's a locking Ooh. nut, and the other one doesn't have one. Those were your CV boot people. CV. Yes. Uh, well, do you want to you want to take it off and put some 600 Loctite on it or something? I wonder what stuff. You want you want me to swedge this in some way? You just about have to. I mean, you would. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they sure boned you on that one. They did. Because this is the side they replaced. The other side's factory. They didn't do with one side. Well, we can get my big heavy uh, I'd say hammer and swedge that in some. That's all That's all that the other side's doing. You want mm-hmm. me to ha- give it the hammer? No, the other side's got a dent before you can do that. I mean, uh, I can I make one here. <laughs> Wait. Where do you want one? I would say right here. You have a nut that big? No, I don't have anything okay, like that. Okay. I certainly don't have anything swedgeable. Right. Do you, do you want to? Let me well, see. Look on, let's see on the there's bottom. There's nothing there. It's worse. It looks like there's an air gap down there. Damn. Only thing I can do is gnarl up that stuff a little bit and then, you know, be a little safer. Well, we can take it off and put some 680 green Loctite on it. Yeah, what do we have to talk? Uh, I mean, you look, look that up too. Look that up too. You can go. You can go wash up. You need to wash up before you do brakes on this yeah, side anyway. Yeah. So what? What did you have here? I mean, I mean that's that's time. We caught that just in time, didn't we? Yeah, that one's even worse. Yeah, you, the inside, the outside. Yeah. Call it in. Yeah. Okay. There's your squeal thing. There's you, a squealer. Whoa, you were right there. Close anyway. to the squealer. A little squealer. Well, I'll get all that grease off my light. Oh, I'll get it. Here, let me have it. Let me have it. Is there grease off? You got copper right there. Oh, well, yeah, I gotta get that off. I there. Mean, yeah, it's okay. This is par for the course. I'm just picking on him most of the time. We've only been doing this for five or ten years together. We yeah, got it not. So, so. Okay, right. well, what, it depends on you. Uh, you may, you may pull it off and you look at the torque, and then I'll get some 680 green. Yellow. Is that Bobby. me? Bobby, you want buffet. Oh. Pizza Panther, we deliver. So you was doing some feuding? <laughs> yeah, I got up What's this. What's up? Sean says, hey. Hey, Sean. He's got a Chrysler Sebring here. Yeah, this morning my alarms went off on the cam bot, and I went around the back corner, <laughs> and I saw what it was. It was our groundhog friend. Yeah, he didn't know I was coming loaded for Groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how to... Let's get over... I've got to get that Can back. Help it? No. There's all your stuff. Yep. So we're back to this, and what we're going to do is i got to... I moved everything because I thought we were going to do the windscreen thing. 
So I've shown this on a couple of videos. Was he giving us 30 minutes or did he want 30 minutes? 30 seconds. Second. He had to do a show. Uh, okay, so let's get, is there any metal around, around these things? Ooh, that might be metal. They might be giants. Oh, let's turn on. Uh, there you go, that's better. So when you do your, your brakes and you put, ooh, see, look at all that dirtiness in there. Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> See is that, that all dirtiness is it? Yeah, you blew all the dirt out from here. Find uh Okay, we because I can always edit. So we got that going for us. And let's get bubble bubble toil and trouble going here. Switch this right there. So you gotta have a good heavy duty pull to run this sucker. Okay. Because this thing pulls a lot of ants. Okay, so here's what we do. Here's what you do. You, oh. You don't sit there with you know, doing a hand, <coughs> doing hand work, right? And that'll pull off. See? Oh yeah. See, it's pretty dirty down in there, but it's sure. not terrible. All right. Now don't. Whatever you do now. Right. Don't. Do not do touch not. the brake pedal. Will not. Where'd you put my fluid? There it is. I'll put it over here. Now. You don't have to worry too much about. Always keep your lid tight. I don't think so. We already spilled some anyway. You can do whatever you want to. Okay. Can you get to it? Okay. You don't have to get to it. I'll get to it this way. It's up, it's up at the max mark. Perfect. See, I am the funnel. <laughs> Didn't spill a drop from 6.7 inches away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're in good shape now. You're in good hands. Yeah, yeah, okay, now we're going to clean the take windscreen and Top uh, the windscreen. and put some rain -X on it if you want to, and put some new blades on it. Then we'll be wiping away. Yeah, now let's make sure we got these fog lights. I'll put some new things in there. Yeah, just, you might have to, that thing. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. You got your keys? I know where they happen. Oh, you got them. Okay. Okay, checking the lights. Just give me whatever you want to do. Headlights. Okay, high beams. Okay. Give me turn signal for fun. Okay, other side. Give me the frog lights there. That's the last thing the frog sees. That damn? Nope. Might be something in another spot. I don't know. There you go. You hit them. There you are. All right, now let's check the back. I got that mirror there, but I want to look at it. Okay. Uh, you got running lights. You got functioning license plate lamps. There's a turn signal. You got crack lens there. Other turn signal. Give me brake lights. Okay, yeah, even your third brake light works. Everything looks good. Okay, now we got to do is find the OBD port. OBD port. Yeah, I, it's not done. Seem to be. Yeah, keep looking because it ain't there. So we fixed the bumper. We scanned it. We didn't find anything. Got an oil filter. Did the brake fluid. Power steering fluid. Fine brakes had to be renewed. Chalk chalk to be okay. Yeah. I, I've I haven't, I've done it, but not on this car. So we're going to mess with putting the top down. Roll down your back windows. You might break them if you're not careful. Now, my understanding is this, this is glass right here. Yeah. Are we ready? I guess so. I don't know. 
If you don't roll down your windows. That's fast. Yeah. Alright, now. Now what? I don't know. I'll roll that other window down more. One behind you. Yeah. That Ooh. one sticks a little bit. Yeah, that one sticks. Okay, now like we know. Okay, we well, don't mess with that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> then it's like every time you turn around on this thing, well, something. Well, it hasn't been used in, so, in, in yeah. a while. Yeah. You know okay, I mean? we can get some. We can get some silicone down. Okay, the so now we'll just make thing. it go up. We're gonna have to lube up some of those joints. Now we're gonna make it go up and see what happens. Might as well, yeah. It ain't coming out. Rut row. <laughs> yeah, rut row. We gotta help it a little bit. Ready? You can lose a finger doing that. Okay, hang on. Ready? Let's get this machine out of here. Yeah, the left rear window sticks and the top doesn't go up. I had to pull on it pretty hard to get it, get it to go up. So I think that's going to be it for the Sebring. Got to put my car away. You going to head back? Just you go ahead and head back and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Oh, he wants to do something else. He said he's going to cut grass and something. Front's pretty good. We good? Yeah, what you want to do? No, I just want to make sure uh, everything was cool before I come back. Okay. If I left anything. Well, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe, like, subscribe, and subscribe. like, and hit that button. And share. And get your and share. share buddies to oh, yeah. subscribe. If you like it. Oh, you, you, you know you loved it, baby. Is that everything? <laughs> I think that's everything. Bonus footage. Uh, I got all the stuff here. I think I can. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna put that back in. I was gonna get the receipt and show you this, but uh, this will be the last of alternator tails. No more tails of alternators. I've had it as much as anybody else has, but since I have have a success here, this is a Car Quest. We weren't at Car Quest though. We were somewhere else. It's a, well, anyway. Advance, yeah. A 71273A. And uh, and I wired it just like just like this. So the two goes to positive, the one with the diode and an LED light and a and a 20, or I think it's a 10, it's a 10 ohm uh Won't that be effective? That'll be more effective having that. Okay, let's do this one more time. Right on. And then we'll and then we'll have to remember to unscrew our post here. Okay. So let's just start from the beginning. I this altered there. I've already tested it. So ignition light on. Okay. This thing's always a bitch to start. I keep watching that. No, I was, I was just kidding. And you can hear it start up. So this works. The, this charges, and I'm not here. I'll tell you what, let's just do that. Let's just do it again. I'm gonna show you something else cool. Too. So there you're running light. So we're at a little over 14 volts, which we should be at, at you know, because this battery's kind of been taking a beating. But the ignition light now works. So you guys with one wire alternators that lost your ignition light, you can get that thing for less than a hundred dollars at Advance or CarQuest or wherever it is you get it. Now I want you to watch this, Sean. You're gonna love this. Now I want you. When I turn the motor off, I'm gonna turn the ignition back on, and you start counting. One, two, three, four, five, Watch for that green light. Five, six. Well, maybe it won't do it. Well, it was doing it before. Well, win one, win one, you lose one. Well, there it is. That you know what that is? That's how long it holds oil pressure after you switch it off. Okay. That's an oil pressure lamp. Oh, cool. That's pretty good, isn't it? Forty-five, yeah, forty-five seconds after you shut it off. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, so where's my, where's my white belt and white shoes, mama? I got some preaching to do. <laughs> you want this uh, fresh washer on the inside?
inside. Yeah, I gotta move all my stuff though. Hang on. I see it. Okay, let me unscrew this. Yeah, that I got like two thousand dollars worth of stuff there. Okay, well everybody say bye again. Bye. Say good night, Bobby. Good night, Bobby. <laughs> Mash your button up. Good night, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Buckwheat. <laughs> okay. After all the work we did, how did how was the ride home? Nice and smooth. No bumping, flumping, chunking, or grumping all the way down. And, and you had brakes and everything. Brakes. Did smooth. the brake pedal feel different? What? Did the brake pedal feel different? Yes. I had to pump it a few times. Get it, get them to seat get it in. To come up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I did good. It's called bedding in. Tire inflation was righteous. It was all good. Tire inflation, no bumping. No, no chattering. Okay, good. good and now you can go in the rain and not throw water and snow and Coke bottles and stuff on your belts. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, man. See you in the morning. All right, buddy. Man, feel that cool air coming in. I know it. In the All cool. Times, I would have popped and left the top down going home. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, well, it's, uh, it's like the guys on submarines. And you say, will they go down? And they go, yeah, like a rock. But does it come back up again? It's... <laughs> Same principle on top. Okay. All right, man. Okay. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.